So this just came in the mail today. Let's see what it is. And it's the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Yes, yes. 32 gigs. I ordered a silver one. And I'm coming from a Galaxy Note 3. Uh, I skipped on the Galaxy Note 4 and 5 because the Galaxy Note 4, I didn't think it was too much of an improvement for, from the Note 3. And the reason why I didn't get the Galaxy Note 5 is because of no expandable memory, no SD card slot. That was the big problem. And then they didn't uh, put out a 128 gig version of it. So I was like, I couldn't do it because I watch a lot of movies, play a lot of games on my phone. I wanted all that storage and they didn't uh, have it. So when this phone came out, I was like, man, you know, it looked good. I didn't like the original, the X7 Edge and S7 Edge Plus because it didn't really look right to me. But the S7 Edge with the rounded corners, it looked real good. Then I went to Best Buy and played with it. And uh, I pretty much fell in love with it. Plus with the SD card slot, yeah, waterproof. That pretty much sold me on this, so... Let's get to the unboxing. All right, let's open this up. Get a bunch of AT and T stuff. Oh God! The phone itself. Yeah, got the up and down. Volume button, power button, all that. Let's see. Eight ten T sound card come with it. Man, this phone is having a hard time focusing. Ah, oh, I finally got some headphones. About time. Oh, this came with it too. Yeah, I'm super excited. This right here is for transferring your apps and data over from your existing phone. Wow. But what I'm most excited about are the headphones because every time I get a Samsung phone or any phone, I never get any headphones. And now I have them. Yeah. So anyway, this is it right here. The S7 Edge. Let me take this plastic off. Okay, what we have here is a 5.5 inch quad HD Super Amyloid screen. screen. No card on both sides. A five megapixel front facing camera. Man. Twelve megapixel on back, which is supposed to be good in low light. Having a hard time to focus. A regular USB cord. I go your headphone jack. Speakers. Power button. And up and down button. And at the top, if it will ever focus. Uh, you know, at the top, your SIM. SIM card goes in, your SD card goes in. But I'm about to turn on and see how much bloat we're on here because I heard it was a lot. Oh, and it's uh, water and dust proof. IP68, I believe. I, yeah. Okay, I finally got the phone on and went through all that crap. Let's see how much AT&T stuff you get. A lot. Yeah. And I'm... 
probably going to disable most of this stuff. Let's see. Uh, how many gigs? Out the box. Personal system storage. Wow, it's already taking up eight gigs. Let's see, it's a thirty-two gig. It's already by itself taking up eight, and then it's downloading all my apps. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, this is a, is a look at the AT&T, Samsung, Galaxy S7 Edge. Sorry for the video being out of focus and all that stuff. That's why I got another phone. I'm about tired of Note 3. Anyway, holla at y'all later.